Hello and welcome to the last regular season edition of the Mariners Massive. We are here in the A-League. Our one remaining league fixture is at Cooper Stadium. We are in the Hindmarsh for a game against Carl Wurtz, Adelaide United. And Wurt this season, I think he's brought in some experienced hands to compensate for a lot of youth. The likes of goalkeeper Ulsen, Aaron Calver, Connor Metcalf is there. I mean, he's fairly young himself, uh, but there does seem to be a bit of an experienced tinge on the Adelaide team. It is a very good youth save. If you are going to fire up Football Manager 21 and want to head over into the A-League, can't recommend Adelaide United enough. They've got the likes of Pacific Neon Gabiri, Luis Dorigo, goalkeeper James Delinioff, and uh, the Torre brothers as well. So I really would like to take them on and uh, see how we could do with them in the coming years. Unfortunately, we are here with the Mariners, uh, which isn't unfortunate for the fans of the Central Coast Club because we are top of the league, we are premiers, and now we're going to head into the championship only after this fixture in the City of Churches. So let's get underway. Big John Aloisi is our assistant manager. We're going to go exactly with what he recommends. And for once, there's a bit of motivation around the team. Uh, Brad Edgar from the Australian Football Informer wants a chat. Josh Nisbet has been tipped with in a shout. Being named Young Player of the Year. How do you rate his chances? Absolutely positive. Uh, the good fun by Adelaide, good run even by Adelaide United has some second. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Here we go. And we head over to Cooper Stadium. Uh, we'll see the formation here. 4-3-3 for Adelaide United. Pretty standard with Ben Halloran on the right. Of course, here in the Mariners Massive, there's no Craig Goodwin. Uh, we have got a bit narrower. You can see that on screen. Our form has been up and down in the last five games. We've won three and lost two. Uh, but the prediction here is that uh, the Mariners will be a bit of a challenge for Adelaide United. It is our last remaining fixture and we do have plenty of players sadly unavailable uh, as we kick off in our blue away strip. Uh, De Silva on the ball to Fenton. Big cross in. Not going anywhere though. Nisbet going back to Tongic who plays the ball forward. We have Matthew Hatch with a damaged kneecap. Jaden Casella has a pulled hamstring. He's unavailable. And then we've got some international concerns. Marco Urena, he's on his way to join up with the Costa Rican national team. Alu Qual away already with the Australian under-20 side. Gianni Sensnes, um, not fully fit yet to participate following his injury concerns. Uh, just very quickly go through the lineup. Andrew Redmayne is in goal. His second opportunity um, after the first one did not go so well as we lost 4 or 5 nil against Western United. Uh, but this will probably be his last appearance uh, because then we'll go with Mark Birigitti for the finals series. Halloran with the strike. Redmayne makes a bit of a meal of the save there, if we're honest. In defence, we've got Louis Fenton at right back. Ruan Tongic and George Niedermeyer in central defence. Uh, we've got Negro on the left. Then it's Nisbet and Janota in central midfield. Oliver Zanik rested for today. Jankovic, Bowman and De Silva in the three attacking midfield positions, which I have to say, uh, if we look at the formation, uh, this is a bit of a change uh, to the usual uh, where we've been setting up with the wingers. Uh, De Silva and Jankovic just tucking in. Uh, we've tried it for the last couple of games and it seems to have gone uh, pretty well for us. Uh, Matt Simon is the lone ranger up front, the striker. Uh, all games bar one, Western Sydney Wanderers versus Melbourne Victory, are taking place concurrently. I mean, if only the A-League were going to do this for the final round. I mean, it would just give a bit of excitement. Unfortunately, it appears not. It appears that they're going to go with their standard uh, way of uh, distributing the games. Uh, as you note, unable to stick with Ben Halloran there. The ball going all the way back to Dorigo. Uh, but it's going to get crossed in. It's Kitto with the strike and it's scrambled wide. 
Uh, Adelaide, as we saw early on, they are up at the uh, the upper reaches of the table here. Uh, the Reds unable to profit on that uh, corner. Nisbet now with the ball, just slowing things down. Uh, De Silva, we're going to go wide to Fenton. And there's a big cross in, and it's Daniel Bowman with the goal. His fifth of the season, the assist there from Louis Fenton, the former Wellington Phoenix man, released by them, uh, as was Andrew Redmayne by Sydney FC, and that's how we've picked them up. Uh, those, those are our only two signings this season of free transfers, along with Big George uh, out the back when we needed some defensive cover uh, alongside the likes of Tongic and Kai Rolls. Uh, so in other news, Wellington Phoenix lead by an early goal. Thomas Hemed uh, scoring against Perth Glory. Then you've got Sydney FC 1-1 with Brisbane Raw. Uh, J. O'Shea equalising from Costa Barbarousas. Craig Noon has put Melbourne City in front of Western United. Uh, that's the fight really for sixth place on the ladder. Then we've got MacArthur FC ahead against Newcastle Jets. And of course ourselves one goal to the good here in the city of churches thanks to uh, former uh, Eredivisie player uh, Daniel Bowman however George Timoteo uh, with the assist by Stefan Mork has just got Adelaide back on terms they have squared the ledger uh, thanks to the tall timber going up there for the uh, free kick bit of an awkward angle uh, and Redmayne again not showering himself in any glory so we've seen the later scores shall we see how that affects uh, the league table uh, melbourne victory have to get something from western sydney wanderers if they want to be in the top six uh, the sydney job is still available i have applied for it because i think they're a better final series team than the central coast mariners if i'm honest and let's face it i want to win two trophies this year Unfortunately, they seem to be sticking uh, with Robbie Stanton at the minute. I think if he gets them in the six, uh, that will sort of be game over. Uh, and they'll stick with him for the final few weeks of the season. Uh, if they don't, of course, uh, and I get appointed, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do. Uh, maybe we'll have to change the name of the series. Formerly known as the Mariners Massive, maybe. Uh, as Niedermeyer plays the ball upfield, but it's a little bit aimless. Uh, almost at the uh, the half time break here Kito is going to play the ball in and it's Toure I think Al Hassan Toure that nearly got onto the end of it uh, that will be probably though the half time break and we will take that all day long one goal apiece pretty even in terms of XG you'd say not too far away uh, I am happy with the performance not a problem lads uh, I'm happy for us to continue uh, and to take a point here absolutely uh, no shame in doing that uh, away at Adelaide United and Cooper Stadium uh, Melbourne City as it stands up to fourth the roar down in fifth and then you've got Sydney FC they're clinging on to a point it seems uh, against Brisbane hopefully they can get uh, another goal there the Sky Blues because otherwise uh, it could be a bit of a problem Perth Glory are now level Although we have no goal scorer listed. Ah, it's Economides, uh, Perth's icon. He is back amongst uh, the goal scorers there. Mork with the ball in, uh, out for a goal kick from an effort by Al Hassan Toure, who really announced himself in the FFA Cup, scoring plenty of goals for Adelaide as they went on to claim that prize uh, last season, because uh, it didn't take place, unfortunately, this campaign. Um, We'll do again next year. Uh, in fact, on YouTube, they are uh, there is full games uh, from the early qualifying rounds. Uh, some fantastically named teams out there in Australia. And uh, I certainly uh, watch those every now and again uh, just to catch up on what's happening. Uh, we do seem to be a little bit flat at the minute. Not very many highlights. Uh, although, as I say that, Jankovic is going to play in the corner. And it rattles the crossbar from Bowman. Uh, another corner, though. Let's see if we can go one better uh, as uh, Nisbet looks to be uh, flagging. The suggestion is to take him off for Oli Bazanic. So just on the hour mark, there we go. Uh, as MacArthur now go into a three-goal lead over Newcastle Jets. Uh, Derbyshire or Anne Jovanovic with the goals there at uh, the McDonald Jones Stadium in the Hunter. 
Stefan Negro uh, is now signaling for the bench. A bit worrying when players are getting injured just before the final series. Uh, he will come off, and I think it'll be Jack Clisby that comes on in his stead. Absolutely no reason why Clisby can't do uh, a good job for us there. Fenton now picks up the booking. It's not what you want to see as Bessart Barisha has got one back for Western United. However, Melbourne City are now 3-1 to the good. So they've scored another one there. Uh, Florent Berenguer, the A-League French uh, Twitter page, will be going uh, crazy for that one. As your nota fires in a free kick, disappointing. If you can't beat the first man, there are problems. I mean, come on. Uh, it's now Perth lead. Uh, I think that's Nick Sullivan uh, who has uh, fired them into a 2-1 uh, head start, uh, head start, a lead over Wellington Phoenix. Uh, of course, Wellington only this last week uh, returning to Sky Stadium uh, in uh, New Zealand uh, across the Tasman and uh, taking over 24,000 fans to Sky Stadium uh, to see their win. As Matt Simon scores his 25th goal of the season. Matty Simon, who's doing so well for the Mariners in that uh, gritty alternative known as real life. But he is a fantastic servant here in the Mariners Massive. Look at that, just cushions the ball thanks to Michael Yanota's cross. Has to be said, a bit of a strange one uh, with the Mariners this season. So early on, they signed three overseas players one is marco urena who i think is one of the better players in the league to be honest the entire comp they've also signed janota and jankovic now jankovic not really seen that much uh, and michael janota definitely not one of the better players uh, of the mariner side it certainly has been the likes of Oli bazanic daniel de silva who's on the ball here um who have uh, earned the admiring glances uh, certainly of a casual fan uh, you'd say, uh, as Bowman plays the ball outfield here. Here's Clisby. Can he do anything? He whips it in, and it's a shot held by Ulsen, uh, the goalkeeper for Adelaide United. Now it's out to Ryan Kitto, a uh, really underrated uh, member of the Adelaide team, I think. A uh, bit of a Swiss Army knife. Swiss Army Ryan uh, can play pretty much any position he uh, takes his hand to, as Timoteu clears the ball off the line, but it's going to come back in here. Great pressure by the Mariners. Uh, Bazanic with the ball out to Jack Clisby, into Yanota. There's the cross, and it's put behind by Michael Neal. Uh, corner here to come. Bazanic with the delivery, uh, and unfortunately, it is cleared by the Reds. Uh, in other scores, it's still 1-1 Sydney FC. If they drop points, they're out of the six, and it is game over. So if Brisbane Raw get a goal, I mean, imagine being there. Probably the Jubilee Oval, uh, as uh, Luque has put Melbourne City 4-1 up. Uh, we're entering the final few minutes of the games here, and you just wonder, is there a sting in the tail? Can Brisbane Raw get, a point, get more than a point uh, against uh, Sydney FC? Big ball downfield by Andrew Redmayne, but it's going to come straight back. Um, Jordan uh, Elsie there though uh, on the ball right at the back for Adelaide United who as I say have bought in plenty of experience as the season has gone on I think Calvert has been very clever to recognise the deficiencies of his side uh, as Redmayne makes a, uh, a big call there and claims the ball now Bowman with the cross and Clisby that's the icing on the cake his first goal of the season and it comes in our last regular season game. There you have it. Fenton with the throw in. Bowman. Big cross to the back stick. Uh, in fact it came out through Matt Simon. Yanota with the touch. So a secondary assist for Matt Simon. Uh, certainly somebody banging form. And that has really left the, uh, the Reds. Adelaide United reeling. With uh, three goals to one now. As now Matt Simon again is in behind. Can he fire a goal? No, it's a fingertip save by the goalkeeper. Still the Sky Blues hold on. How nervous are you in the cove? Very much so, I would suggest. That early goal from Costa Barbarousas. Holding off one by Jay O'Shea, who squared the ledger. It's still 3-1 here with the Mariners. We've got a minute to play. Any goal for Brisbane Raw 
and Sydney FC are out of the final series. Can you imagine the Sky Blues missing out on finals football as it's full time? And does that mean that all we have to do is wait to see how uh, Melbourne Victory do later on? We do indeed. Right, so anything but a win for Western Sydney Wanderers and Melbourne Victory are in the final series. Sydney FC will not take part. Right, so that is something to tune into when we uh, air the A-League rundown on Sunday. You will find out whether uh, Sydney FC made it. Can you imagine that scenario in real life? If Steve Corica, well, it's not even Steve Corica anymore. He's been sacked, as has his replacement already this season. Imagine the uh, media furore if Sydney FC was a miss out on finals football. In real life, uh, they'll probably, as it stands, finish second. You certainly would have thought, uh, as it is, uh, they'll have a home championship semi-final to look forward to. And really, given that Melbourne City are going to be without a few key players, Jamie McLaren uh, being the big one, uh, I would suspect that uh, I peg the two teams as joint favourites for the championship, really. Uh, but thank you for joining me today. Come back and see me again uh, on Sunday for the FM21 A-League rundown. And we'll find out just how that last game uh, did. Uh, as Mike Heaton congratulates us uh, from the Goal magazine. Uh, let's be really positive with that. Absolutely. There we have it. We clinch the A-League regular, regular season title, which we did some time ago. However, three goals to one against Adelaide United. An impressive performance to end the season. Next time on the Mariners Massive on Thursday, I think we'll be in the midst of the final series. And then we'll see what happens there. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you again.